It's the Joel Shit Show, Election Edition. Today, Proposition 88. Hi, welcome to the Joel Shit Show. I'm your host, Joel Shit. Today we're going to talk about Proposition 88. Education funding, real property parcel tax, initiative, constitutional amendment, and statute. Put on the ballot by petition signatures imposes $50 tax on each real property parcel to provide additional public school funding for kindergarten through grade 12, exempts certain elderly disabled homeowners from tax, use of funds restricted to specific educational purposes, fiscal impact, state parcel tax revenue of roughly $450 million annually allocated to school districts for specified education programs. So this is a parcel tax. Parcel taxes are on land that people own, so directly it affects people that own the land, and indirectly it can affect the people that rent the land from the owners. It just depends on whether the owners pass that increase along to the tenants. It's up to them. Some do, some don't. Where I live, when the rent go, when they get assessed an extra parcel tax, they don't pass it along to me. But in a lot of a lot of neighborhoods, they do. So that's what voting yes would do. It's fifty dollars a year. It's money that goes to schools and the standard things, reducing class size and providing textbooks and this particular one does exempt the elderly, which some do, some don't. The people that are not for Proposition eighty eight are basically saying that this is just like Proposition thirteen and they're sneaking it back in. And what they mean by that is it's a flat it's a flat tax, which technically it's not a flat tax, it's a regressive tax. Because percentage wise, those with less expensive homes are paying more as a percentage of their home. So if you own a two hundred thousand dollar house, you're still paying fifty dollars a year. If you own a four million dollar house, you're paying fifty dollars a year. So it's affecting the lower end homeowners more. It says, according, now the people against it say that 95% of schools would never receive facility grants under Proposition 88. Well, the money for Proposition 88 doesn't only go to facility grants, but they don't mention that in the con statement, the people against it. People against Proposition 88 include Californians against the statewide parcel property tax. Well, duh. That's all the time we have for today. Visit us on the web.